there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Today, I have got a really big cider for you guys. I don't mean big as in, whoa, it's like, you know, a really like, rare cider or a big company. No, I just mean it comes in a really big bottle. Now, funnily enough, um, well, I'll tell you what. I'll show you what the cider is first before going to this story. It is Knight's Malvern Gold. There we go. Comes in, uh, well, you can see, big old 750ml bottle right here. So, uh, and it comes in at 6% ABV. Now, an interesting thing about um, this, this company, the Knight's Company, I've actually tried, because they had uh, two ciders. They had uh, this one and their Malvern Oak which I reviewed for the channel years ago. Um, I might put a link um, in the description to uh, that previous review. But I remember seeing this, and um, I can't remember even where I got it from, but the Knight's company, or the Knight's brand, was actually just a byproduct of um, Aston Manor, which, um, as we know from my previous reviews, they just excel in doing mediocre ciders or really crap ones at worst. Um, but I remember one of the viewers telling me, and I'll probably see when I look on the back here, but I remember the, they said that the actual Knight's Company uh, is, is actually a separate company. They've actually um, branched out from Ashton Manor, and uh, they do produce some um, quite good ciders now. In fact, I think I gave their Malvern Oak quite a good rating, you know, I think about like 7 out of 10 or something. I can't really remember. It was quite a while. Um, so let's see, medium dry reserve. Our finest medium dry Herefordshire cider, crafted by our master cider maker from a blend of bittersweet apples, picked from our local Herefordshire orchards in the shadow of the Malvern Hills. There we go, does it actually say... Ah, it... oh, yeah, there we go, so... Yeah, it kind of confirms it right there. I think they are still, like, a sister company or something. There you go. Aston Manor Cider Mill. So it is still uh, made there, even though it's, um like a separate branding almost, it's still like in relation to Aston Manor, so um, I must say a little bit surprised to see this in my orchard box, but you never know, It you know, it, it's probably going to be really really good, we shall see. Uh, Morven Gold is a traditionally fermented medium dry Herefordshire cider made with a blend of bittersweet apples including Yarlington Mill, mm, hello, Harry Master's Jersey, hello, Dabonet and Kingston Black. Huh. Well, pretty much all my favourite cider apples in one drink. It is crafted using 100% fresh apples, that's always good to hear, picked from our local Herefordshire orchards in the shadow of the Malvern Hills without the use of juice concentrate or any artificial flavours, colours or sweeteners. Now that sounds like it is a really decent cider. Um, and apparently it's won gold in the Inter International Cider Challenge. There you go, and it's even got the uh, protected geographical indication logo on the back there as well. There we go. So, yeah, all, all in all, it actually does sound like a really, really nice cider. And uh, unfortunately, no uh, no fat women can have it, and no cars can drink it either. Damn, automobiles, you just can't, you know, you just can't drink it, can you? Never mind. Right, I've uh, rambled on long enough. Let's get this, uh, let's get this peeled off. There we go. Now, is it going to be a, uh, is it going to be a cork? Is it going to be a twisty thing? I'm not sure. It's a twisty thing. Thank God I don't have to uh, struggle to get this open. A yeah. little bit of a um, little bit of fizz there. Yeah, lightly sparkling. Let's see what it smells like. Oh yeah, very dry. Yeah, so uh, when I say very dry, it's got that slighter uh, sweetness behind it that um, that you kind of get from. Is mine that? Do you know what I was? The the shadow on the camera made it look like my nose has gone black. <laughs> it hadn't. Yeah, all in all, this smells quite uh, quite nice. Uh, a little bit, a little bit oaky, a little bit tannic. Hmm. All in all, smells uh, really nice. My girlfriend's going to be sampling this today because um, you know we got a little bit of good news. Kind of personal, but either way, good time to uh, celebrate with the cider, isn't it? All right, let's get some of this poured out then. Um, what shall I go for? Shall I do half? I'll do half a pint. That or thereabouts. Yeah, there we go, a generous half pint, why not? Right, so there we go, as you can see it is uh, lightly sparkling. Um, a little bit of froth on the top, that's going to dissipate quite quickly, I would imagine. Um, even the uh, carbonation is going down quite quickly. But, um, yeah, it looks quite orangey, dark, sort of like amber colour there, just on the top of the glass. Hmm, looks quite nice. Any more smells? 
Oh well, it smells uh, quite, quite vinegary now. Very, uh, very sharp. Yeah, it definitely smells of like, um, like nail varnish remover or, um, or like, like strong white spirit or something. Yeah, wow, that's, uh, that's smells completely different in the glass, blimey. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to feel about going into this one, so I guess there's nothing else left to do, and that's to actually, well, delve in and give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Here's to Knight's Malvern Gold, courtesy of Orchard Box. Cheers. Oh, that is that is sharp. Oh, it's got quite a nice aftertaste, though. Hmm, okay. This is an interesting one. Let's get another one. Hmm. Oh, wow. It, inst it instantly starts off being a really sharp tasting cider. Those really sharp acidic smells that you're getting on the nose, they're in the taste as well. And you can feel it as it's going down your throat. Strangely enough, it's kind of um, making my mouth water quite a lot. Um, whether that is from it being so acidic um, in its taste, but the aftertaste is actually quite mellow, quite smooth. Um, it's almost got a little bit of a biscuity aftertaste as well, which is one of my personal favourite aftertastes. If you've got a biscuity aftertaste in your cider, I'm all over you like a rash. Bad thought. Let's get another one. Yeah, it's got quite um, a light body behind it as well. Nothing too, uh, nothing too cloying, um, or you know, really thick or anything like that, uh, which was what I was kind of worried about because um, you know, with the previous experiences of other Aston Manor ciders have not been that great. But I mean, this is just, this is uh, much better than that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, and as I say, I remember the Malvern Oak being quite nice as well. So. If you are going to get anything related to Aston Manor, I would probably say stick to the Knights range because it does seem to be their their top quality ciders from the looks of it. So yeah, pre pretty decent effort. Let's go in for a final taste before a final verdict. That is quite easy to drink as well. Really, really. Um, I think I think because of the light body, it makes it quite easy to drink. Um, it is quite sharp and, and quite dry. The uh, the biscuit aftertaste kind of like mellows it a little bit, but um, there is like a lot. It is it is quite dry, so you know you gotta you know take that into consideration if you are gonna try this out. If you don't like your dry ciders, then you're not probably gonna like this one. However. With everyone else, that is, um, you know, it is a very decent effort from the Knights Company, uh, once again. So, for a final verdict, I'm going to go and give Knights Malvern Gold a 7 out of 10. Um, let me just pop the cap on there so I don't waste any of the delicious carbonation in their fin. So, um, interesting to see what my, um, well, my fiancé now is going to um, say about this because, uh, well, we are just recently engaged. Oh, I know, scary thought. Um, well, actually, it's not scary. It's something to look forward to, isn't it? <sighs> She'll kill me if, you, if she heard this. She'll probably watch this video now. Oh, God. Um, but, yeah. Interesting to see what she makes of this, because she doesn't really like her dry ciders. Um, but, I don't know. She might like this one. We'll find out. Anyway, with that said, that is another episode of the Cider Drink of Year, guys. I hope you liked it. And, as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Till then. I've got a big old 750ml bottle of... Malvern gold to get through with my fiance, so I'm gonna waste no more time. Take care guys, till next time.